Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can get these fruits that I have on the screen right here. As you guys can see, I got myself a Kitsune fruit from just doing this method. And as you guys can see, I am a bacon. I'm on my bacon account and I have not paid for nothing. Maybe the only thing that you guys need to do this method is literally a private server. But you guys can basically do it in any server as long as you guys know what you guys are doing. And you guys are aware of what time it is when the server drops. So as you guys can see, I keep on doing this method because, you know, it's really effective and i'm just gonna be showing you guys my best fruits that i got i'm not gonna show you guys how many fruits i got because i basically got almost every fruit in the game from doing this and yeah i got a lot of stuff from doing this too i got multiple fruits i got multiple kitsunes i think i got two kitsunes two t-rexes and like two lepers from doing this and maybe a lot of other fruits like buddha yeah i just basically got almost every fruit as you guys can see right here i got myself a key uh you know not key snake t-rex you guys can do this like basically in every you know c you know the first second and third c but right now i'm just gonna be making a video of you know the second c in general because mostly almost everybody's in the second c and you guys can do this super easily and as you guys can see i'm putting the clips you know fast forward so i can go ahead and teach you guys these steps on how you guys can do this method and how you guys can get almost every fruit in the game just by being aware of you know your situations on you know just being in the second seat and yeah before we get into it man i appreciate if you guys like it subscribe and let me know if you guys want you know a method or tips on you know this the first and third seat right now this is going to be specifically in the second seat so yeah i'm done with a lot of talking i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do right now let's get into it okay as you guys can see we're in our private server right now and we're on our bacon account i'm gonna show you guys how you guys can get these fruits and before we get into it man i'm gonna let you guys know one thing you guys need to know is timing that's all you guys need to know is timing what time the server starts what time the fruit drops and what time the fruit disappears listen this is very important i'm about to show you guys the fruit spawn times and what times the fruit despawn the fruit basically despawns after every 20 minutes every time the fruit spawns you know 20 minutes after the fruit spawns it's my fault but there's also two different times when the fruit spawns and i'm about to tell you guys right now i'm gonna put it on the screen if you guys have a hard time hearing me so on the weekdays if you guys have fruit grinded on the weekday a fruit will spawn one hour after the server starts so make sure to have a timer on and whenever if you guys join a new server and on the weekends you guys will be able to get a fruit spawn 45 minutes so it's a 15 minute difference also if you guys can't get the fruit in the 20 minute time period as it spawns then it will disappear so yeah make sure to have your timer on and make sure to know what time the server starts i only know one method to know what time the server spawns but it's on pc i don't know if you guys know a method to know when the server spawns on mobile then you guys got it then you guys can go ahead and skip this method right here what i'm about to show you guys right now as you guys can see i press f9 fn and then f9 are you know the key binds but as you guys can see right here you guys see there's like a little script and if you guys check right there running queue if you guys see that time right there that's the specific time when the server drop so basically all you gotta do is just wait an hour from that time and then boom you guys will be done and you guys will know when you know the fruit drops so myself i like to put a timer on you know i used to put a timer on pc or i put a timer on your phone for an hour 45 minutes depends on if you're doing this on the weekends or the weekdays so yeah make sure to do that let's get into the next step right here what i'm about to show you guys right now okay so an hour just passed by right now and i'm about to tell you guys all the spots that are, you know where fruit spawn and the whole map right here in second C. So yeah, starting off from right here where you guys spawn at when you first come. I'm going to show you guys, you know, my route. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep on fast forwarding until I get to a specific spot where I usually find the fruits. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys every spot, you know, that's in the second seat right now. So yeah, let's get into it. Right here is a good spot. It can spawn on one of these trees right here too. As you guys can see, it spawned right here. So yeah, it says you found a black fruit. Be careful. And yeah, it depends on what kind of you know what I'm saying, what spot around the map is, which I'm about to show you guys right now. I'll go ahead and drop this fruit because I don't really need it. So yeah, let's go to the next spot. This tree right here has is a good spot too where it, it drops. Right here.
right here it's a good spot one of these three trees has it right here over here too one of these four trees depends on where it is you guys will see this tree right here also one of these trees right here too right here between this big tree and this uh, mushroom I believe then right here too between this mushroom This tree or this tree spawns it by Graveyard Island. This tree right here. You also have to be level a thousand to get into here. So make sure to have, you know, your level up to a thousand before you go try to get into here. This tree or this tree right here. This tree right here too, or either this tree right here too. This tree right here. This tree right here by Hot and Cold. This snowy tree. I advise you guys to check all of these trees over here by Forgotten Island. It's the most complicated spot where it spawns mostly anywhere on this island. So yeah, check these trees around here. This tree right here and the tree next to it. This tree and also this tree right there and maybe the tree up there. The tree right here is spawned. This is where I found Leopard at. Maybe this tree and these two trees right here. Now let's go to the next spot. Right here's a good spot at Snow Mountain. Right here too by this big old mushroom. This little palm tree right here by Snow Mountain. Behind this tree by Dark Arena right here or one of these two trees. Right here in the middle or one of these two trees right here. Fruit right here in the middle between these two trees or on under under the trees. And right here by this tree. And also one of these three trees right here, this is the last spot in the second seed. This is where all the fruit spawn locations are. And yeah, that's basically it for my video. And I forgot to tell you guys, use a transportation fruit like what I use right here. This fruit, portal, or whatever. Whatever fruit that is fast. And yeah, that's basically it. I appreciate if you guys like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions down below, let me know. It's your boy Rockstar. I love all y'all. And I'm out. Peace.